Hey everyone, today I am excited to show you a billing system made with Python, Tkinter and MySQL. So if you are learning Python or need a college project or want a real business billing system, this project is perfect for you. In this video, I will show you the full working demo and explain all the features. So please watch till the end, like the video and subscribe for more Python projects. So here we can log in either as an admin or as an employee. So I'll firstly log in as an admin. So I'll mention the admin username and the password. So it says invalid credentials. So we need to mention the correct password. So once you enter the correct password, you will see this uh, admin dashboard, right? And this is manage product section. Here you will see all the products. So currently I am using this billing system for pharmacy store. So here you can see all the products are related to pharmacy. So to add a new product, you have to mention the product name here. Mention the price here. Stock and add product. Okay. And if you don't fill up these details and click on add product, it says all fields are required, right? And if you wish to delete any product, select it and click on delete. So this will delete that product. Okay. Then if you want to change your password, you can click on this change password. So you'll enter the username, which is admin in this case, you'll enter the old password, new password and confirm password, right? If you don't enter these details, it says all fields are required. If you are entering the wrong username and correct old password, new password, then confirm new password, uh, confirm new password and new password doesn't match. So it says new password do not match, right? But if you match it, now it says wrong username or current password. So the username is wrong. Now the username is correct. So I'm able to change the password. All right, then we can manage employees. So here you can uh, you can see that we have an admin, right? We can also add employee from here or an admin. Okay, so let's add an employee. So we'll enter the name, we'll enter the username, we'll enter the password. I'll choose the role as employee, add user. So you can see the user is added. Right. If you wish to delete it, just click on delete selected. Okay. Next, we have this view bills. So here we'll see all the bills that are generated uh, on the employee side. You can see the bill number here, customer name, amount, and the date and time. Okay. If you want to see details, so just select it and click on view details. So here you will be able to see the products that the customer has purchased, the quantity the price and the total price okay now let's log out and log in as an employee so i'll use this username and the password so this is the employee page uh, where the employee can do the billing okay uh, so firstly we'll add the products to cart so we'll select the product we'll change the quantity if we want and then we can add to bill right Similarly, we can add other products like this. Okay, then if you wish to remove any product, select it and remove item. Then you can generate the bill. But before that, you have to enter the customer name. So I'll enter the customer name here and then generate bill. So you can see the bill preview here. So uh, you will see the bill number here. Uh, date and time then customer name then uh, we'll see the products uh, quantity price total then final total amount and then the message thank you visit again now we can either save the bill or we can close so let's save the bill so we can save the bill on the desktop so the bill is saved let me show you the bill So here is the bill. You can see uh, the customer name here, date and time, 
right uh, bill number is here then item details are here right and then the total is here then this message okay and you can also search the product if the list is long just enter the product name and you will be able to get the result okay and as an employee also you will be able to change your password you have to enter the username old password new password confirm password and update your password okay so this billing system is easy to use and can be changed for any business you can use it in places like grocery shops fruits and vegetable shops medical and pharmacy stores mobile and electronics shops bakery and restaurants stationery shops supermarkets and many more so the source code for this project is in the description let me know if you have any doubts i have also provided this how to run uh, .txt file so here you have all the instructions that uh, will help you to run this code if you face any issues or if you need customized softwares let me know uh, you can check the contact details in the description thank you for watching